Good morning, YouTube. It's Barbara Jean. I have a word today for you. Um, uh, I was <laughs> every time I lie down, I tell you, my head just starts to spin with with ideas. The Holy Spirit just starts speaking to me. So here is the word that the Lord gave to me. I wanted to talk about actually two things. I wanted to talk about the fig tree today, and I also want to talk about the temple. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the fig tree. Uh, Matthew twenty one nineteen when uh, I'm going to read it first. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing there, thereon but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And so, anyway, what I wanted to say about this curse that was put on the fig tree is an everlasting curse, okay? Now, don't think that I'm going to because we all know that the fig tree represents Israel, Okay. And uh, uh, this was an, an eternal curse. This was a curse forever. So what I wanted to say about that was not that, that God has rejected his people forever. He rejected the tree forever, the fruitless tree, which was faithful, faithlessness and, and lovelessness. Basically, these are the two things that he cursed this tree for because it wasn't producing fruit in season and out of season. So what I wanted to say about that was, so here is this, so here's Israel under law. The law couldn't produce love. The law couldn't produce uh, faith. And as we know today, Israel still is an unbelief. And Israel still hasn't learned the, 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 that law, love is greater than law. They still, they still haven't learned these lessons. Okay. When will they learn that lesson? when they receive Jesus Christ. So the, the curse of the law will be an eternal curse. The fruitlessness of law, the fruitlessness of, of unforgiveness, the fruitlessness of not loving each other the way God and loving God. So what we're saying is the law couldn't make Israel love God. Okay, The law couldn't produce love for God which is what God wanted. God wanted and wants us to love him. But law can't produce that fruit. So it, that tree was cursed. And it is still cursed today. Because we know even in the Christian church that when a church gets bound up in law, it forgets how to love. It, it gets bound, bound in, in bond, the bondage of fear. And fear cannot produce love. Okay, so that's what I want to say about that, that 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 tree is cursed. And until Israel receives the Messiah, it will remain under this tree, this cursed tree. The new covenant, the new tree that God has built up through the, the death of his son, who is the, the first fruit, the tree of life in which we are all living and, and, and receive our life through the tree of life, which, which is Jesus Christ. This is the new tree. This is the blessed tree. This is the tree that produces fruit. Okay, so until Israel says, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, they will not produce the fruit of love and faith. Okay, so... Um, Anyway, so what I wanted to say about that, now with the, when I want to go to the temple, I'm going to equate that with that, is that the, the Israel right now is trying to build another temple. <laughs> They're trying to build another temple right now. We know it. They're trying to build a third temple, which, God, by the way, will be destroyed. It will be destroyed. Why will it be destroyed? Because they're building it without Jesus. Jesus is the temple. And they haven't figured that out. They haven't figured out. They think they're going to go back to law. That they think, think that the Israel thinks that the reason they're cursed is that they haven't been able to offer sacrifices. And that's not true. The reason they were cursed was because they rejected Jesus. And and that so the temple that they're going to try and build, this the, the one that there was that the second temple was destroyed by Rome. Why was it destroyed? Because they rejected Jesus. The third temple will be built, but it also will be destroyed. Why? Because Jesus isn't the temple. They didn't build Jesus into this temple. They're still trying to go back to the old system of law. And that system is cursed. Okay, so I'm going to read a couple of verses. Actually, I'm going to read quite a few verses for you. 
and it's about the third day. Now this I will relate. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to talk about the third day. The three days is really, really important to God. Uh, Jonah 1.17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. For as Jonah, uh, Matthew 12.40. For as Jonas, Jonas was in the was three days and three nights in the whale whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Mark 8.31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. Mark fifteen twenty nine, and they and they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads and saying, Ah, thou that destroyeth the temple and build it in three days, save thyself and come down from the cross. Luke two forty five, and when they found him not, they turned back. This is Mary and Joseph. Uh, turned back to Jerusalem seeking him, and they came to pass, and it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions, and all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers, and when they saw him they were amazed, and his mother said unto him, Son, why the hast thou dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wouldst uh, ye not that I must be about my father's business? John 2.18 And he answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thee that unto thee, seeing that thou dost these things? Oh, and then answered the Jews. And then answered the Jews. Okay, uh, let me see if um, I can see that. Here. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou dost does these things? Mine, I'm telling you, this old English is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Um, then saith the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? And he spoke, spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had, that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scriptures and the word which Jesus had said. A couple more verses here. Revelations 27 through 9. And when the thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is the as of the sand of the sea. And they went up on the, the breadth of the earth and encompassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from God from heaven and destroyed them. Or devoured them. Okay, so what I wanted to say about the temple in those three days is that when Jesus was speaking in the temple, he, he was always seen in the temple. And what he what he was trying to say is that Jesus is the temple. And that if we build a temple without Jesus, it will be destroyed. So when he when Jonas was in the belly three days and three nights, so was Jesus. Then in other words, three days and three nights represents the time it will take for for God to build the temple his temple and what i mean is 2000 years a day is as a thousand years to the lord and a thousand years is as a day 2000 years of church history has brought the fullness of the gentiles into the church into the body, into Christ's temple. He is the temple. He is the body. We're his body. He's building up his body. And it two days was for to bringing in the fullness of the Gentiles. Okay? The last day, with the last thousand years, will be to bring the Jews back into the body to build up the rest. If what, what took 2,000 years to take the system of the world system out of the Gentiles, because remember we had longer to, we had more to, to purge, if you will, because we had the the system of the world in us longer. We didn't have the Gentile, the Jewish system in us. So it's taken us two thousand years for Christ to work the lies and the deceptions out of our system, to be be ready for the to be part of his temple to be part of who he is the last thousand years when the jews finally say the bride has been removed the gentiles are out of the the church gentile church has been removed 
from out, out of the world. Christ is still in the world, okay? Because he in the heart of the world, he's three days and three nights in the heart of the world to build his temple. So now you have 2,000 years of Gentile history, church history. You will have, when the Jews finally say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord after much persecution, after the third destru the destruction of the third temple, which is, like I said, built on law. They think that they can rebuild this temple without Jesus, and it will be destroyed. And then finally they'll clue in, and they'll go, Oh, I guess Jesus is the temple. He's the one we've been waiting for. They'll receive him. Then there'll be one more thousand years or one more day in order to build the rest of his body, the third day in three days and three nights in the temp in the heart of the, of the of the earth, Jesus. Then there will be another lukewarmness. There will be a falling away, just like there was a falling away in the church. This lukewarmness set into the church, and a lot of the church fell away. In the third day, the same thing will happen. Even though they have Jesus with them, there will be Satan will be released. Will be come back into the world, and deceive them with the old world system the old world order, that triangle I was talking about before. And many will fall away because of lukewarmness. And they, then there will be this uprising against Jesus in the third day. And after the third day, which is after the thousand years, they will be destroyed. So there's a thousand year reign with um, Israel. And Israel, it only takes them, instead of 2,000 years, it only takes them 1,000 years to get this world system out of them. So those who belong to Christ will belong to Christ forever. And those who will reject Christ will reject Christ forever. So um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think that probably says everything I need to say. Um, I think it's a pretty important word. I think it's pretty exciting. Um, so it, it, like I said, three days, this, this emphasis on three days to build the temple. It, that's exciting, people. We are, we're at the end of the, two, the second day, and the bride is getting ready to be removed so that God could, could fulfill the third day with the Jewish people. Hello, is that exciting? It's so exciting. Anyway, God bless you. I'll probably be back.